Hey, if you'd like to be in the audience for the Fred Jackson Show, it's live Monday nights at 7. Just go to our website, wbbz.tv. Click tickets or the Fred Jackson icon to make your reservations. Can I be in the audience? You could be in the audience, yeah, Can't. no charge. Now, if I'm here, I like Fred. Can I heckle you? Would I get thrown out if I start heckling you? We, we have burly security guards have? that would talk. Art Wander, we I basically. Think, well, Art, so. I think Art could take you. <laughs> he might. Art's a tough guy. He's a feisty I would, guy. I actually would not a feisty want to mess guy. with Art. That's hey, uh, we had a call while we were during the break, people wondering what Howard does for a living, so we wanted to pull out this video. <laughs> I wonder, too. Of Howard Simon in the morning <laughs> at uh, WGR. There he is right there. Look at so relaxed. Uh, how, it's a how, casual show. You could do the show from your bedroom. Or at least a, uh, a recliner chair in my family room. What do you think? Yes, you could. You know, they have some local DJs who do that. <laughs> so I yes, understand, yes. So, look, I'm a few years away from retiring. When I get to maybe a little older, I can do the show from Florida. And there's, you know, there's, there's knobs and watts and whatnot. It's computers and You still and know stuff. how it works. How about that? Look, at, I'm actually touching the keyboard. How about wow. that? I'm, you have I'm come a long way from WJJL in the 80s well, in Niagara Falls. Well, of course, we had no computers. No. You know, it was ripped the wire copy. But look, at, I'm, I was probably on Twitter. That, right that's there. where I go back to the 80s, mid-80s with Howard at, uh, at WJJL in Niagara Falls. You had dark hair. I had hair. Uh, but yeah, back then, look, I got, I've got multiple computer screens going. I am, you are, you are, you're a triple texting, threat. Tweeting, you're a triple threat. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the FCC today uh, voted unanimously five zip to uh, ban the NFL blackout rule. Now, this doesn't mean that the NFL has to abide by it. Right. But I believe there'll be enough political pressure that the NFL sooner or later is going to have to. You really think? I'm I not think sure. So. so you're asking the NFL to do the right thing. And too many times, if you think the NFL is going to do the right thing, they let you down. I, I guess the thing I'd be curious about, Bob, is, and I, obviously I don't know the numbers, it'll come down to money, this just in, that's shocking. Um, do the owners look at it and say, okay, do we keep the policy as it is, ensuring us to sell as many tickets as possible, although the secondary market certainly has hurt them, uh, or do we do the right thing by the fans and if every day game is on TV, does it increase advertising revenue? Do you get more signage? Do you get more sponsors? Because every game now, right. in Buffalo, do you, do you do something with the Bills as far as a sign? Because you know every home game is now going to be on television. So I'm sure they would pick the way they make more money. Well, I think it's going to come down. It's just going to be a math problem, like you said. And, you know, the threat from the NFL is that we'll put more games on paid television if yeah. it forces us to do this. But the commercial television is where the big sponsorship yep. money is. Billions, and billions yeah. of dollars they make. I don't think they would, they would move games over to pay TV. The other thing is, uh, you and I were chatting about this in the break, the NFL is in a big mess right now. They have just, it's been a PR fire for them lately. If they wanted to really do the right thing and get some good PR by the fans, what do you do? No more blackout rule. Every NFL game is on TV. We don't have, you don't have to worry about sweating out to see if your game's going to be on on Sunday. They're all on TV. <coughs> so from a PR standpoint, that would be a genius yeah, move it would for them. Be, I think it would be a win-win. Yeah. Uh, let's shift gears here because uh, GR is a flagship station for both the Bills and the Sabres. The Sabres are uh, on the cusp of starting a new season. Uh, your co-host, Jeremy White, is one of the strongest advocates in town for – I, yeah. I want to say let's get, throw get the to season. the top of the draft. Let's get the tr top, right. top draft pick. Right. And there's some sense out there, I know you know Steve Manson, the hockey yeah. man, yep. uh, that, that Ted Nolan's going to have this group much in a better position to play, not that they're going to make the playoffs, right. Right. but they're not going to be as bad as last year. Where do you, where do you fall into that? I, you know what? They were, I mean, they were historically bad. Even if you add, say, 20 points to last year's team, which might be a stretch, you're still talking 72, and you're in the mix for the bottom of the, of the league. I still think it's a major struggle. You still think, you know, we're, remember, they had 52 points with Ryan Miller here most of the season last year. Um, you're still going to see, I think, them struggle for offense. I think they, they might be better uh, in some aspects with their defense core. The goaltending, I'm not sure what's going to happen. So I'm, I'm still expecting them to be at the bottom. And, and you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of get to the bottom to be at the top of the draft. But honestly... With this year's draft and what's waiting there for them, I'm grasping the concept for this year. If you finish last, you're guaranteed either McDavid or Eichel. No ifs, ands, or buts. You're getting one of the top two picks. So how do you get Nolan to get this team you to don't. lose? You don't. You can't. That's Ted, are you kidding me? That, I'm sure that notion is vile to Ted Nolan. I, I honestly, I think in terms of the level of, of talent that's on this roster where it is right now, it, it's just not good enough. I don't think you're gonna, they're still going to be one of the worst teams in the National Hockey League. But, yeah, you know, if you're Ted Nolan, I would, I'd never ask that. To t hey, Ted, make sure the team loses. He would just yeah, give you the no. evil eye on that Well, one. I think actually that 
Murray as the general manager could have some effect sure, on you that. Sure, you yeah. can tinker, or, right. you know, tweak, or do whatever you want to do with the roster. You can have it set up. Look, they, they can get to the trade deadline and move guys again. You can move Chris Stewart. You can move Drew Stafford, guys that are going to be out of a contract or up under after the year. Okay, so to tie the two segments together, the Pagulas is owners of both the Sabres and the Bills. Yeah. What kind of world are we looking at? I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, because I know, I'm, I'm curious to see what's his passion level for football. No question we saw it with hockey. You know, when he had his introductory press conference and he was looking at the French connection, he was tearing up. He's talking about, you know, having a guy hold the telephone next to the radio to listen to games years ago. So I'm curious to see what is the passion level for Terry and Kim Pagula when it comes to the Bills, what their approach will be. As you pointed out, will they come in and say, GM, coach, you guys, sit tight, you're safe, let me see you do your job. Or will they come in and say, you know what, I want my own people here in charge? I'm, I'm not sure. really don't know what to expect. For what it's worth, I was told the front office people got three-year extensions upon Ralph Wilson's passing. So it would be up to the new owner, they could the buy him out, to buy him out sure. or to keep him around. They, they, if they wanted to, it, certainly money is but not an, an issue, and it, it doesn't count towards the cap. Their style hasn't been to clean house. No. It's to let people have a right. chance. And honestly, I, I think there's a lot to be said for that. Let people have a chance and evaluate them and make your own opinion on whether you want them to work. So for do you them. think Sabre employees will be given bill season tickets and vice versa? Yeah, I guess that, who gets the better end of the deal? I'm trying to think if that's... Yeah, I suppose they could, right? Well, I know one a little thing. something in your package Remember those today? bumper stickers? <laughs> Go Bills and take, take the, Sabres the Sabres with, with you? you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at... You know, I, I, I think we have been blessed to have a man like Terry Pagula to come into this uh, community, mm -hmm. not being a native, and to do what he's doing. And not, I assume you mean not just the hockey team, yeah. now the football team, yeah. and Harbor Center. We, I have no doubt in my mind, if it wasn't for Terry Pagula, we would have lost the Buffalo Bills in this town. I don't know if we would have, but I tell you what, I would have had a lot more sleepless nights. It would have been, I, yeah, it would have been really uh, dangerous, let's just say. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm very thankful. Howard, it's always great having you on the show. Thanks Your son now is what, in college? He's yeah. going to where, Michigan? Michigan State. Michigan State. Oh, be oh, careful. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. Are you, come on, really? Yeah, I'm sorry. The M word? I thought he was following uh, uh, Beeline over there to... Uh, no, no. Michigan State. Michigan State. So now you're paying tuition? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. That's your request to be our... our uh, so you got... Uh, I mean, I love the Ilio de Palos gift certificate yeah. for appearing. Any chance you could cover room and board? You can sell those on the street. Would it cover scout room and board? Those. Okay, yeah, I will. Those. Thank you very much. I won't tell Dennis. <laughs> Howard Simon, you can hear him every morning on GR 550. Always great having him on the show. <laughs> hey, have my buddy Art Wander on this show once more. Would you please? Okay. Can I... Throw Art him? would take over... The, I wouldn't get a word in edgewise. You got a... You got We're a dump only on button. For four hours. Don't you have a dump button? We do, yes. Yeah. I, I'm going to leave there. Hey, Howard, uh, thanks again. And we're going to be back with the Kim Piazza Ice Bucket Challenge right after this.